you like our content, please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get alerts when we introduce new videos. Welcome to the demonstration series for Smart Zone controllers based on high scale deployments of the 5.2 Smart Zone release. The videos in this series will show you the basic configuration of many aspects of the controller. In this video, I will provide a demonstration on configuring a hotspot whisper portal with a walled garden within the Smart Zone controller. So let's get started. I have already logged into the Smart Zone instance using a super admin account. We can observe that there is a high scale instance and it's a 5.2 Smart Zone release. Under the grouping in the middle, we see there are a few partner domains and subdomains already configured. Clicking on the first partner domain, we can see there are zones configured under it, which we'll be using to configure our Whisper portal. Hotspots or wireless internet service provider roaming are services that are under the services profiles, hotspots and portals tab. Click on the hotspot tab at the top. Whisper services are configured from the zone level, which can be applied to wireless lands configured in that same zone. I'm going to drill down on the left to the zone I would like to create the service in. Now that the zone is selected, you press the create button to display the create hotspot portal window. The first steps are to create the portal name and then establish how our user will be redirected for authentication. First option in the redirection section is to deny, allow, or exclusively provide support for smart clients. Smart Client is a software solution that resides on the user's access device that facilitates the user's connection to public access networks. The next field of choice is the login URL. If internal is chosen, then the internal process within SmartZone will be used to authenticate the users. If an external is chosen, then the primary and optionally secondary URL is configured to redirect the users that are not authenticated. The redirected MAC formation option allows for compatibility with your external authentication solutions, ensuring that SmartZone is providing the MAC of the client in an acceptable format. Once the user is authenticated, you have the option to forward them to their original destination or redirect them to a specific page, such as your welcome or information page about your organization. Lastly is the HTTPS redirect options that are enabled by default and allows the AP to redirect HTTPS requests to the hotspot portal as well. Moving on to the user session section, you can adjust the session timeout and grace period. Session timeout simply identifies the time when a client will need to re-authenticate and the grace period which identifies how long the client can be idle before being disconnected from the wireless LAN. Users can reconnect to that portal again without authentication as long as they are doing so within their session timeout period. If you choose to use location IDs, enter the ISO or ITU country and area code that the AP includes in accounting and authentication requests. For location name, enter the name of the location of your hotspot service. A walled garden is a limited environment to which an unauthenticated user is given access to for the purposes of setting up an account. It simply provides the ability to list sites or IPs of devices that a client can access without being an authenticated client. Things that could be included in this wall garden are organization's information pages, a specific services page, or even an application stores that can be available for clients to access depending on your external authentication service requirements. You have the option to upload a CSV list of sites you want to add to the walled garden as well. A sample CSV file can be downloaded if you click on the down arrow to the right of the Import CSV button. Otherwise, select the import file you would like to use and press open. While importing, SmartZone will verify the URLs and IPs for formatting to ensure the entries are acceptable. If any issues are found, SmartZone will report them in a pop-up that you can reference. Optionally, you can set a traffic class profile that replaces the walled garden option to limit users' traffic handling until authenticated as well. 
Additional advanced configuration options can be configured, if needed, that is associated with that traffic class profile. You can see that when selecting the walled garden, those options are grayed out. When configuration is complete, press OK button, and your new portal will be listed under the selected zone. Modifying the portal can be done using the configure button along with the cloning and deleting it as well. The portal now can be associated with a Whisper wireless LAN service, allowing users to connect and limit their access while they are authenticating. We will demonstrate this in a different video in this series, how to configure a wireless LAN to use this portal, and it will enforce the settings you have configured in this portal settings. Thank you for taking the time to view this demonstration.